What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to another episode of the Bathurst Challenge. Today we have quite an iconic car that I think everybody is going to recognize immediately and for that you can thank Mr. Tim Deutsch for an old Mini Cooper. Now obviously there's a lot of different Mini Coopers out there but I think we all know which one we went for. I, I think we all know. So without further ado, let's jump into the sim and have a look at this absolute weapon. So here we are in Assetto Corsa in our 1966 Mini Cooper S. The Mr. Bean livery, I guess. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I have to say, the minute you look at this, you know exactly what it's from. You know exactly what it's about. And for me, it's all about speed, baby. It looks like the fastest vehicle that's ever going to touch this track. So I think without wasting any more time, let's jump into our outlap, see what it's like to drive, and just start ripping some one-minute laps. I'm very, very excited. Let's go. Alrighty, let's go. Off to the races in our Mini Cooper S. First gear hitting... 50 kilometers. How fast are we going to get? Oh, we're already maxed out first. Okay, here we're in second. Let's see if we can max out second gear. 93 kilometers an hour in second gear. 120. Start braking really late because we're not really going that fast. Oh, it handles like a bit of a house brick on wheels. But this is fine. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Already maxed out second gear again. In third gear, 105 kilometers an hour. I want to see how quick this car can get. On the first straight, we're going to start braking really late, right, really deep, in the 50 meter board. Turn the car in. God, it handles like a dream. Absolute dream. If the definition of dream was literally a house brick on wheels, then this would be top of the list, I think. Third gear, 110. Let's see how quick we can go. We've got four gears to play with, I'm fairly certain. I don't think it's got a five speed. <laughs> Let's see how quick we can go. I can't even get it out of third gear. 135 kilometers an hour underneath the Audi Sport sign here. Don't really have to worry about getting too much air. Oh, fourth gear, 145 kilometers an hour. Absolutely booking it. All right, we're going to start braking just after the 50. Turn it in, get on the gas. We need to drop down into second, I'm thinking. Let's keep it in third, keep it in third, 104 kilometers an hour. This has to be already one of the fastest laps that we have ever ripped through Bathurst. This is going to be, I don't even know how I'm going to be able to hold on to my seat in this one. Down into second, hold it through the cutting. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, 85 kilometers an hour, heading up towards Skyline. This is just... Pff, it's too fast. My brain can't really comprehend everything that's happening because it's just so quick. Everything is just way too... I mean, what did that even say? I don't even know what that sign said because we just blew past it so quickly. Heading now through Skyline, going up into the left-hand turn here, heading towards the Dipper and the S's. Ah, this is get this is gonna take this is gonna take a while. I think I just want to see what this is like through the S's and the Dipper, and then we're gonna start our hot laps. Otherwise, we may be here for the next ten minutes, just trying to get our outlap sorted. All right, on the brakes, heading to the S's. Oh, it was a little bit ambitious with speed going through there. Down to the Dipper. Oh, absolute race car of a machine. Second gear, down into th down into Forest Elbow. Let's see what what gear we can hit Forest Elbow in. Get on the brakes a little bit earlier. Okay, I mean look, fundamentally I feel like we can definitely perfect our lines on the track, but I don't reckon we're going to be breaking any land speed records. I'm going to jump into my 10 laps, see how fast I can actually get this car, and then I'll come back with my fastest lap, and we can all revel in the glory of this absolute weapon. Let's go. So here we go, fastest lap in the 1966 Mini Cooper S. Now we're going to have a lot of time to talk throughout this lap because I know how quick this car is and unfortunately we will not be breaking any land speed records today. But you have to admit it looks pretty good and for some weird reason it feels a lot faster than it is. Going through the first turn now we're going to really use as much of the track as we can. The biggest thing with this car is trying to keep momentum. The minute you apply too much brakes, the minute you come off the throttle for too long, you're wasting so much time trying to get the car back up to speed. You have to make sure you keep the throttle pinned, try and hold on as much as you can and just use as much of the track as you possibly could. We're in third gear now at about 137 kilometers an hour, going underneath the Audi Sport sign into fourth gear. 150 before we hit Griffith's Bend, 146, not quite 150, breaking at the 50 meter board, going into third and trying to use as much of the track as we can to again hold that throttle down and keep the momentum running. We're only at about 100 kilometers an hour here going up towards the cutting, so definitely not 
booking it as the other cars that we've seen use this track. So you now going into the cutting, we're in third gear. We want to drop down into second and just try and use as much of the track as we can. I have my foot flat at the moment, trying to use that outside line as much as we can without absolutely spinning the car with all the raw speed that it has. But I have to admit, it does look a lot faster than it actually is now. Going up towards the skyline, going past the BP Ultimate section, it looks quick. I mean, it looks fast. I'm not going to put it past that. It looks pretty quick. Uh, going into the skyline now, where we're going to lose a lot of time or gain a lot of time is again going down the mountain, through the S's, through the dipper, places like that where we want to keep our foot flat and use the natural momentum of going downhill to help us with this car. In fourth gear now, we are flat foot in the fastest gear possible, trying to get as much speed as we can. Underneath the seven new sign, heading down towards the S's, and just look how quick it is. It looks a lot faster than it actually is, but I'm very impressed with how quick that is. Going down into the dipper now into second, holding it as much as we can, flat foot all the way through down to forest elbow. This looks pretty fast. Not as fast as something like a Ferrari would look, but I mean, when you look at that uh, house brick on wheels, you can't really go much better, can you? Through the forest elbow, second gear now, feeding out into that Bentley sign on the right-hand side there. And now this is where all the power is made, baby. We're in third gear now, 135 kilometers an hour, going towards the chase. This is where we're really going to show the true performance potential of this 1966 Mini Cooper. Heading towards the chase, we have flat foot, 173 kilometers an hour, 175 kilometers an hour. Are we going to break 180? 183! Are we going to hit 190? We're at 187 kilometers an hour. We're going to hit 190, 189, 190. We hit 190 kilometers an hour heading towards the chase, breaking at 150 meters to try and slow this car down. Heading down, down to the liquid molly sign. We're in third gear, 102 kilometers an hour. Trying to see how quick we can actually make this lap. I feel like this is going to be a faster lap than I'm actually prepared for. Third gear, 140 kilometers, breaking down for the last corner now, stopping at 150, down to second. 75 kilometers through the last corner now we're using the right hand side of the track as much as we can underneath the start finish line for a 306.177 that is a much faster lap than i thought this mini group was going to pull today very impressive let's go so there we go fastest lap in the 1966 Mini Cooper is a 306.177, which is a hell of a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I genuinely thought this was going to be slower than the Volkswagen Beetle, which was over a four minute lap. So a 306, I'm pretty happy with that. So with the Mini Cooper doing a 306, this is where it sits up on our leaderboard, right underneath the Toyota Camry, only just shy of hitting that below three minute mark. But when you look below that, the Volkswagen Beetle and the Reliant Robin are both over four minutes. So I'm very impressed that this got so close to the rest of the pack. I can't really be that upset. Now I don't know if Mr. Bean is proud with the lap that we've just provided, but if he's not, Please don't hate me. I also want to say a massive thank you again to Tim for the suggestion. If you guys have a car that you want to see do the Bathurst challenge, leave me a comment below. If there's a mod for the car you suggest, then we'll do it. It's pretty straightforward. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. I post new videos every week and you don't want to miss them. If you want to come and see us race some cars live, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I will leave the full schedule in the description. I would love to see you there. Let me know you found this video. We can talk about cars. If you want to come and join any of our social media, all the links will be below. Come and join the team. We have a great community, people. Other than that, I'm going to leave you guys to it. I hope you had a good day. Bye!